Hey guys. This is kind of like a movie review, which I know Big Mouth does movie reviews, but this is a very touchy subject that comedy just can't take care of. So, um, like I said, this is kind of a movie review, but it's going to be talking about something that is very harsh and hard, and it's about bullying. The name of the movie is The Final. No, it's in the horror genre. But really, when a person is bullied, it is a horror. It's a, a trauma, trauma. It's a trauma to life. And, you know, um, a lot of times when somebody is victimized through bullying, they commit suicide. And it's a horrific thing. But this movie kind of turned the tables somewhat. There was still suicide. But before the suicide, there was a little action. Now, what got me really thinking about it was, here's these students who were bullied just because they were different in some way. Either they were somewhat nerdy, or just didn't fit in, or was of a different race. And they all blended together, you know. And then, of course, there was the jocks, and the cheerleaders, and the rich, and the uppity nose, you know, nobody's better than me type. And they were picking on the ones that was different, that didn't fit in. So this group decided to take matters into their own hands. And the sad thing is, a lot of times, there's a lot of bullying going on and nothing's done about it. There's no paddling. They took paddling out of school, which is a shame. Uh, a lot of times the parents don't do anything about it. Just say, ah, uh, kids just being kids. The police really doesn't do anything about it. Not really. Unless they're starting to crack down a little bit, but I kind of wonder about that. And so, on the whole part, the people, the victims who's bullied and messed around with, thinks that there's no hope. They are brought down low to the point that they feel like they're nobody, like they're worthless, like they're not loved, they're not wanted. And they think, what's the, what's the use of even trying anymore? They're never going to like me. I'm never going to fit in. And so, you know, they out themselves. Now, what this movie put out, I don't condone, but it kind of makes you wonder, what if? Now, there has been instances where the traumatized victims have took action because they kind of went somewhat insane so to speak you know it really got to them mentally and they snapped shootings in schools and whatnot you know but this here went just a little further than that so to speak a specific masquerade party costume party was being held and all of the jocks, the rich folks, the snotty snobs, the chill leaders were, inv were invited. But none of the underdogs that they picked on. So they came up with a plan to get their revenge. So they find costumes themselves. That way they could blend in and they wouldn't be known. And then they spike the drink so that everybody passes out. And while everybody's passed out, these victims chain everybody together and have them in the center of the floor. 
when they come to, everything begins. The one that was most insane among those victims was kind of like the leader of those folks. And here's all these high and mighty, so to speak, people sitting in the middle of the floor. And, you know, they're dazed and confused, don't know what in the world's getting ready to happen. And here is this one victim speaking out. And they start to wonder, who are these folks? One by one, a lot were spared, but only because the police finally got involved. But the ones that done the most tormenting were the ones that were tormented the most. In the end, though, after it was all said and done, things happened to them, and they all ended up dying anyway. Uh, a veteran comes to check things out, and he gets rid of two of them that was outside scouting, watching for any police or, or anything. Uh, one of the ones that had showed up at the party happened to have been the victim's friend, and they didn't want him there, but because he showed up, he did manage to get away, and he ran to that veteran's house, and that's when the veteran went to check it out. And so here's these two individuals on patrol watching for this one kid to come back and for any police and whatnot. And the veteran offs both of them. So that was two of the victims down. And then, like, one of the victims had tried to stop the other from shooting the friend as he was leaving. And he gets stabbed and dies. So it comes down to the last few. And the one kid comes back saying that he's going to stop them from any more action. He had already managed to call the police, so the police was on the way. And as the leader of the victims started to attack the one that came back, the other victim shot him and stopped him. And then she said, I've had enough. And the other victim said, so have I. So he shoots her. And then when the police comes in and tells him to drop the gun, he says, it's too late. There's more like us out there. Pops himself. So, I don't believe in revenge. But so very little is done for the victims who's bullied. So very little. A lot of times the bullier is just getting a, a slight slap on the wrist, not really learning anything. Was it right what those victims done? No. But at the same time, you kind of, you want to see justice done in their behalf, you know? And I hate it how that these people, they, they get this in their mind that they're better than someone else just because of their race, their nationality, their finances, um, their religion, their intelligence, their lack of intelligence, their, their disorders, or, you know, it, just the slightest thing, the slightest thing someone else will make fun of and bully you for the slightest thing even if you choose to be something that you're not you're bullied people's hearts are cruel and it's so damaging to another human being that doesn't have that same kind of attitude who in reality actually does care about other people it's damaging to the mind because, you know, I've been there. I've been there. I, I was tormented, but mostly by not want, being wanted at all. But sometimes I was bullied. I was made fun of because I wore glasses. But, you know, 
the bullying wasn't bad enough for me to want to kill myself. Instead, I wanted to kill myself because I felt like nobody wanted me. So, you know, yeah, I, I do not condone taking revenge. I definitely don't condone uh, chaining everybody together and one by one tormenting them until they're maimed or dismembered. You know, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in doing a, a, um, a shoot down either, you know, because that's just as wrong. It's just as low. But when something snaps in the victim's mind and they feel that they've got to do something in order to survive, it's kind of like a survival mode, you know? And so, yeah, I don't condone that, but at the same time, I just I felt like in some ways something was finally being done. What I would really love to see is bullies literally get locked up and not overnight with bail not overnight with bail daggone it that doesn't teach anybody a lesson it doesn't teach anyone a lesson at all it doesn't i think a bullier needs to do so much more than just overnight if they would be arrested at all. There's got to be some kind of penance that has to be paid so that they won't bully anybody at all anymore. What that would be, I have no idea. I don't know. But I will tell you this. When the last victim shot himself just as the police had entered into the place and told him to drop the gun. When he shot himself, I started crying. Because nothing was done to begin with. And those victims took it into their hands to teach them all a lesson. It should never have to come down to that. Never. But sad to say it does happen. It just shouldn't be. Bullying shouldn't happen. And it shouldn't come down to a victim feeling like they need to vindicate themselves. It should never come down to that. So, you know, let's be an advocate for the victims who's bullied. And Let's see what we can do to thwart bullying so that there's more peace, more, more comfort, so that nobody's hurt anymore in some way or fashion. I don't care if it's kids in school or adults in life or people posting videos on YouTube who's being trolled and harassed. One good friend of mine who happens to be my number one subscriber, she was the first one who subscribed, had been stalked and harassed. And she had to stop doing her YouTube work for a while until something could be done about this person that was coming out her. This person was being very sexually explicit about her. And she had never once indicated to this person that she wanted anything to do with him. She's a happily married woman. And quite frankly, I have to say, her husband's very good looking. So, you know, they're out there, folks. They're out there. And you can pull up stories upon stories about people who have been stalked, trolled, and harassed on YouTube. But I'm not just talking about the bullies on YouTube that works through YouTube. I'm not just talking about them. I'm talking about bullies of all ages 
in every state, in every city, in every town. I'm talking about all bullies. Males, females, young, old, school, YouTube, I don't care what it is. I'm talking about all of them. Bullying is bullying and it's painful. It's painful to be on the receiving end. Sometimes it becomes absolutely physical and not just taunting of words, but physical to the point of great injury. Sometimes even murdering the one that you bullied. That's happened too. The bullier ends up getting to the point that they kill their victim. It's horrible. And it's heartbreaking. And that movie, The Final, really got me thinking. Something's got to be done a little more than what's being done. It's got to be done something so that there's no more deaths rather it be suicide accident or on purpose something's got to be done